Well, can making a case for climate change help address racial injustice? Well, yes, says the founder of the Plant It Forward Community Planting Initiative. Jocelyn Person taking a look at that this morning has more. Jocelyn, good morning. Good morning, Dave. Could the answer to solving unrest be as simple as planting a tree? Well, Diane Esser, the founder of the program, wants to reach out to as many churches and others to plant a tree as a way to make the first step of change. I was raised by a World War II father that was in Normandy and the Battle of the Bulge. He fought by brothers of other colors. He came home and he taught his little children since the time they could understand King's English. Diane Esser started the Planet Fober program five years ago and this year she's doing something differently, planting trees in memory of lives lost to racial injustice. And we all are each other's brothers. It's that simple. If we all embrace that, we could take racial tension and we could lower some heat index. Esser says she hopes to distribute 50 trees to churches and elsewhere across Erie. I think it's just important to come together, come together as a group and uh, I think planting the tree is a great idea, um, just sends a message of hope. The trees will have a quote by Martin Luther King Jr. saying, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. It doesn't matter who or what color you are, you are all the same color to me. And it's, it's about being taught that from the time your little ears could hear. Esther hopes many can come together and view each other as one. And we might not be able to change everything tomorrow, but there has to be beginnings. And after the beginning, there's very often very good endings. To find out how to reach Diane, just visit yourerie.com. Reporting live in studio, I'm Jocelyn Person, Dave. Thank you very much, Jocelyn.